We're going to talk about automating complex business processes with Agentic Automation. My name is Tim Santos, and with me is Akshay Matani. So we'll go ahead and get started. Today we're going to talk about three things. A new era in Agentic Automation, a practical guide to deploying and developing GenAI solutions, and AI agents in action. Who is Automation Anywhere? Automation Anywhere has been in the business for 20 plus years. We were a pioneer in something called robotic process automation. Over the last handful of years, we've developed those solutions from RPA to add document automation, process discovery, our own version of Copilot, and now Agentic Automation. The industry has expanded significantly in the last couple of years because, because of Gen AI. Right? So the sphere of influence of, of tasks that we can automate has gone from few to many. An evolution is here to transform your business. In the early days, it was with RPA, which was a little bit rigid and brittle. Nowadays, we're using agentic process automation to be much more predictive and proactive. As a result, we can deliver much larger business results to our customers. Combining AI plus an action layer allows us to automate much more of our customers' business. And what we're doing because of that is we're rapidly automating for our customers in days, not months. We're using the leading agentic automation process, process automation platform from Automation Anywhere to allow business people to automate their processes, to integrate into systems across your business, and, and easily adopt packages with Gen AI to build automations faster. Powered by AWS and all of the scalability that they bring to our customers for deploying automations, using the data that you have hosted with AWS, and then all of the security and privacy that you know as an AWS customer. And the results are impressive. Here are a number of our customers that are delivering, that we're delivering agentic process automation. The Petrobras use case and example is incredible. 120 million in savings in just three weeks. This was a tax use case. Um, the automation was understanding very complex tax rules, right? Another global retail bank called PNC Bank dropped their processing time for applications from six hours to 45 minutes. A major US hospital, that was Boston Children's Hospital, is on path to realize $11 million in savings in phase one. And lastly, Gemini, their invoice processing time reduced from eight days to the same day. I'm going to turn it over to Akshay, and he's going to walk you through a demo, and you'll see how it actually works. Perfect. Thanks, Tim. Hey, everyone. So let's go into demo mode, right? But before we go into the demo, what are we going to be actually looking at? This is exactly what we look at, and this is something PNC Bank, the one we saw on a previous slide, actually automated for them. Their loan processing time would take six hours. Every time they would get a loan in the system, take a look at multiple documents, figure out the eligibility, and then provide the loan. With the power of AWS, using Bedrock, and using SageMaker, we were able to take that down to less than 30 minutes. So that's what we'll see in the demo in a couple of minutes. And what has really helped us build this out is the combination of AI and automation. AI that we have powered by AWS using LLMs directly that are hosted on Amazon Bedrock, using enterprise data, using services on Bedrock like RAG, and also using prompt tuning has helped us get, get information from data that we could not get before. Analyze the information that only humans could analyze, but now we have AI doing it for you, and combining that with automation, going into a system and actually entering all that information into your system of record, using human in the loop to actually validate all the information that has been analyzed by an AI using Amazon Q, which is what we'll see in a couple of minutes, and then orchestrating all of that in a cohesive single platform. That is what we give you. 
using automation and then powering it up using the AI powered by AWS. With that, let's jump directly into demo mode. So this has been our journey with AWS over the last five years. We first built our platform for the cloud on AWS. We have thousands of mutual customers, many of who are here in this very room along with us. And now, most recently, we have integrated with AWS on products like SageMaker, Bedrock, Textrack, Connect, and even Amazon Q. We're available on the marketplace, and this is just how we have transformed enterprises along with AWS. This is the automation and AI enterprise system that we have. This system has the automation system at the base, where you build your automations to interact with different systems on their user interface or through APIs directly. You use Process Orchestrator to bring everything together. On top of this, we have the AI system that has been powered by AWS models and technologies. We have AI Agent Studio, helping you bring your LLM from AWS directly to your automation. We have Automator AI to help you build out these automations faster, be, be bring quicker time to value because our customers demand these automations at a much faster speed than they can be built today. That is what, that is what Automator AI helps you do. We have document automation to help you extract data of documents within seconds compared to what it was with regular OCR back in the day. And we have process discovery, helping you build out these processes and understand these processes before we are actually going to build these out. On top of this automation system and the AI system, we have our AI solutions. These AI solutions are what we have built using Amazon Q for healthcare, banking, supply chain, and even across different business functions in an organization like IT, finance, and HR. So with that, let's take a look at this actual loan processing that we've been able to get done. And that is where we have so many agents that we have built out for our customers, things like service triaging and loan processing. This is the process we have, and our customers have seen an improvement of 20% in net promoter score. So this is the demo. We'll first jump into Winston. Now, Winston is our automobile sales rep. He works. <coughs> apologies. He works in any. Uh, he works in a dealership with customers selling cars, and that's his daily job. He logs into Salesforce as he gets a new customer around this time of the holidays, and now he has Automation Copilot powered by Amazon Q directly within his system. This is where he can now chat with all the information of the of the automobile dealership right then and there. He can ask questions like, what's required to fulfill a loan? And now he can have a very knowledgeable conversation with the customer as they're in front of them, and he does not need to go in and look at multiple documents. Now he says, hey, I want to start a loan. This is where your process comes into play. Amazon Q has easily popped up a process for Winston and a form asking him to fill that up for our person buying a car, who is Ivan Johnson today uploads the W2 <coughs> for Ivan directly in the system and submits that. This is where our AI agents take off. Uh, we have an AI agent to extract data of documents. So they start extra as the data extraction for documents goes on, Vincent still has access to this chat interface with Amazon Q to ask more questions about the approval process, the loan process, what kind of cars need to be there, and within the same chat interface, Amazon Q lets us know, hey, data extraction is complete. Let's go in and take a look at it. And that is what document automation does for you. It seamlessly extracts all of this data and helps you go back into your process. We have our next AI agent taking off, gathering credit checks, running credit reports, literally determining the eligibility before sending it to Natalia, who is our loan underwriter. Now, Natalia, our loan underwriter, is not in Salesforce. She is living in Microsoft Teams. So she needs to, so we need a way to take that process, which was triggered in Salesforce, to Microsoft Teams and notify Natalia that, hey, 
there's something in here for approval, and that is exactly what happens. Natalia has all these notifications in the system, and she sees a new one in her queue. She clicks it, and now she sees all the information for this loan at her fingertips. This information has been processed by our loan intake agent to understand the information from the W-2, to understand the different loan terms. Do we want to provide a 4% interest or a 6% interest on the basis of the credit score? Takes all of those policies, procedures, and puts that directly in front of Natalia for a human in the loop and to actually get that final approval. What's interesting in this is the, the AI recommendation is not based on just a generic credit score and a generic income. It's based on, hey, has someone in the past with an income of about $120,000 living in uh, Washington State with this credit score of 780 actually paid off the loan? What, is, what, what does past history tell us? And that is the data that is sitting in the system that has powered this AI recommendation to say, hey, we can accept this loan or we can approve this loan and not reject it. And it's the same concept with the risk score. What's the risk that the bank is undertaking as they provide this loan to Ivan Johnson? Natalia sees all of this. She's comfortable with what she's seen, approves the loan, and moves ahead with her day. She has not had to move out of Teams, and she has not had to go into other systems, but directly stay in there. We're now back to Winston. Winston is still in Salesforce, speaking with Ivan on the table over there, and he can easily say, hey, your loan has been pre-approved, things are good to go, and you can get your car out the dealership today instead of having to come in tomorrow as you wait for a loan approval. And in the meantime, Ivan might have a few questions around what are the, what are the safest cars out there, according to the NHTSA. And Vincent has all of this information at his fingertips. At the end of the process, Vincent can see all the different steps that have been taken by AI and automation. And this, my friends, is the future of enterprise automation. What could be simple tasks Rules-based tasks are now complex cognitive tasks. They're dynamic, they're adaptive. What were extraction of data from structured data sets like Excel files and JSON files is now extraction of data from unstructured do uh, documents like contracts and lease agreements and things like that. What could be just a basic human in the loop is just an exception scenario. If something is not perfect, that is when it goes, into, goes to a human. All of this with the governance protocols that we call roles-based access control. And we provide the least action, least amount of privileges as needed, and only increased privileges as people get more responsibilities in an organization. That is the future of enterprise automation, and that is what AI agents are here to do for you. So that was a demo on loan processing and automation. Let's move back to our PowerPoint. And those were our AI agents in action. The green. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, perfect. So, thanks everyone for attending this session with us.